Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Chloe Queen. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I'm going to give you six tips on how to successfully and very cutely, may I add, decorate your dorm this coming school year. <laughs> So the first step to consider are colors. What are colors that you're drawn to that you absolutely love? Whether it be going on Pinterest and looking at specific color schemes such as orange color scheme, go look at Pinterest and see what they have. But step one is to find colors that you absolutely love. For me personally, I love the color purple. Any shade of purple. Purple is my favorite color. My second favorite color is the mint green, the color that the Disney Princess Jasmine wears on her outfit. So knowing that these are my favorite colors, I then decided to go on Pinterest, look at certain color schemes until I found the perfect one that I thought fit me and my personality the best. Step two, have a couple signature pieces that describe you. For example, I'm girly, I love makeup, but I'm also artistic and I love reading and I love writing. So I saw some very cute Etsy signature decor. One was a girl's name and a black like metal design and then like paint brushes were part of it. That is an example for what I would definitely say is a signature piece. It has my name. It describes who I am. So definitely go on Etsy, Poshmark, Macari, Pinterest, and find just a few signature wall pieces that describe you. Tip three, bring pictures from home. So I think another great way to make your dorm you, to make your dorm stand out, and to also make it homey is to simply bring some pictures from home and hang them up. Whether it be buying a cork board and slapping some pictures on, whether it is to get string lights and pen pictures on, any kind of way that you can bring pictures from home with you, highly, highly recommend because if you're a freshman or any kind of status in college, you're going to get homesick eventually. And even if you aren't, it is always great to have friends, family, maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend that's hung up on the walls to look at. And it's just so fun to have and it gives an extra little oomph to your dorm as well as just some cozy home to your dorm with you. My next tip, tip number four, is to Find colors that can easily be edited. So you don't have to do this, but for me, when fall comes, I want to, you know, maybe not redecorate, but definitely edit my dorm, so to say, to add some fall pieces. Same thing with when it comes to Christmas time. I want to put up like a mini Christmas tree, but I don't want the colors of my dorm to clash with fall colors or Christmas colors. So when you do find your color scheme, try to either pick neutral colors or colors that can definitely be edited and tweaked when you do want to redesign your dorm for fall or for Christmas and for other holidays and events. You don't have to. I'm sure not all of you are big room fashionistas like I am, but I definitely love decorating things. So for me, I definitely need to keep that in mind and also consider whether or not certain colors of other holidays and seasons could clash with my dorm. The fifth tip I have to find the perfect way to decorate your dorm is to have any kind of inspirational words, quotes, and sayings in your dorm. And here is why. Again, whether it's your freshman year or any year in college, there will be times when you get stressed, when you get sad, when you get homesick, when you just are feeling negative, I highly suggest hanging up some kind of Bible verse. I'm a Christian, so definitely my mind goes to Bible verses. Maybe you can get inspirational quotes, maybe just funny movie sayings to kind of make you happy to bring some positivity into your life when you're just not feeling positive whatsoever. And my last and sixth tip to find your perfect aesthetic and just dorm decoration would be to have a wall calendar. Now, I like this idea because wall calendars can be plain and modern, 
girly and floral, and they're for everybody, no matter your gender, personality, or what you're into. They have so many different kinds of wall calendars. I'm going to put a few on the screen, and I'll also leave everything down in the description box below. But I say to bring a wall calendar because, again, it's great to take up space, just a cool decoration, but it's also going to help you wake up, already have an expectation of what you expect for today. Do you have a test? Do you have exams? Do you have a meeting? Are you going to go to um, a study group today? And it's just a good way to stay productive, organized, and again, another cool wall decoration. And that is all for today's video. Those are my six tips on how to find your perfect aesthetic slash your perfect way to decorate your dorm. And this also doesn't just apply to your dorm. This can apply to your room, to your office, to your apartment, any room that you're living in and it's going to be yours these six tips are perfect for that if you enjoyed today's video if it was entertaining and educating to you guys then please feel free to subscribe hit the bell notification and like today's video also please feel free to comment down what tips you're going to use this year to decorate your dorm apartment office room so on and so forth i would love to know and with all of that being said, please feel free to go follow me on my Instagram here at allthingsgirlyyt. I do so many girly makeup lifestyle content over there. And with all of that being said, please feel free to have a great day, have an awesome day, and above all, have a blessed day. And I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.